within the time limit. Sack, arrest, detain. Nigerians on social media have reacted to a video showing the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, dining with Muslims inside a mosque in Nasarawa State. Hello everybody, welcome back to Plan B TV News. Now, there is a news trending and I decided to share it amongst my viewers. What is going on out there? Peter Obi is being criticized for joining the Muslim during the Ramadan. Okay, why do you, as is a politician, who we are seen amongst Christians during the campaign, going to churches and all of that, everybody thought, oh, he's a Christian. There was standing ovation. Woo! Peter B. We have with us here tonight, His Excellency, Mr. Peter Obi. But we've recognized you now, so please come join us up in front here. At the end of the day, this is what is going on. Let's watch this particular video of Arise TV News together, whereby Oji Okwe, Ruben Abati, and our favorite guy, Rufa Oseni. Let's watch this particular video together. We'll be right back to do some messages to it. Nigerians on social media have reacted to a video showing the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, dining with Muslims inside a mosque in Nasarawa State. The former Anambra State Governor visited the International Market Central Mosque to participate in the breaking of the Ramadan fast on Monday evening. The video captured Peter Obi spoon-feeding a young boy inside the mosque while other congregants gathered around him watching. Obi, in a series of tweets, revealed what informed his decision to break the Ramadan fast with the Muslims, saying that he joined other Muslims to break their Ramadan fast to symbolize unity and cooperation during the auspicious season, adding that his visit was an invaluable opportunity to gain insight into the realities faced by Nigerians, many of whom are enduring monumental hardship. All users on social media shared mixed reactions. Some praised the politicians for his humility. Others argued that the gesture was to enable him win more hearts ahead of the 2027 election. Well, let's take some tweets. This is from Daniel Rega, who wrote, Peter will be breaking fast with Muslims in Abuja Mosque. is playing eye service. Same way the governor of Sokoto was seen with an al Majiri kid. Of course, there's nothing wrong with such acts. But coming from Nigerian politicians, these are political moves. Obi himself is known to be seen using every opportunity to be in the spotlight and get praises. Unfortunately, he hasn't been cleared of the yes daddy allegation. <laughs> well, another user there, F.S. Yusuf wrote, election is over. Contesting candidates have moved out of the scene to their personal businesses. Only Peter Obi is still in the scene because off-season and on-season, he is a good man. However, I am concerned because there isn't so much he can do without political powers where he can effect long-term sustainable change on a large scale. While he may not be desperate for power, sometimes I wish he can match the political establishment and play the game because in this climb, the good boy is never appreciated. I've learned that it is beneficial to be feared than to be loved. Well, Abu Bakr wrote, you cannot defend the president's decision to break the fast in the presence of his cabinet, governors, and other elected officials, and shamelessly attack Peter Obi's decision to break the fast with regular people in the midst of the most vulnerable communities. Only Obi possesses the desire, bravery, and willingness to do that. And that is praiseworthy. When you visit or invite an ordinary Muslim to Iftar, he won't soon forget it. This is a selfless gesture that truly warms the heart. Dr. Vati, over to you. Well, I mean, uh, to those people yeah. who say this is about 2027 mm -hmm. and saying that this is a populist gesture on the part of uh, Mr. Peter B, they need to be reminded that this is not the first time he's doing this. As governor, in Anambra State, he identified, you know, also with the Muslim community during the month of Ramadan. So it's not as if he's doing something that he's not been doing before, okay? And he made a point that this is to symbolize the need for unity and cooperation. And I think that that is the important message, you know, that Muslims and uh, Christians, we are all the same, and that what should be pursued, promoted by our leaders, is that sense of unity and cooperation. 
after all, we have a body called the Nigerian uh, you know, uh, Religious Council. It's called NIREC, where leaders across both you know, uh, faiths are trying to promote cooperation. I think in terms of symbolism, in terms of gesture, in terms of signaling, you know, uh, Mr. P2B has done something that is very uh, important, providing food and also showing the humility to identify with the people. The president also, you know, has been after a tradition, having IFTA, having, uh, you know, breaking fast with different uh, communities. Those who recommend that the president, you know, if he schedule permits, should uh, extend this to others. I've seen Muslims at uh, Arise, Arise News saying that uh, they also want the president to invite them to Ifta. <laughs> you know, I don't know whether the president will invite any Muslim from Arise, Arise News or any media house well, to, to come and bring fast. <laughs> well, but, Why not? but the whole I idea is be. about the spirit yes. of the season. This Absolutely. is the only month where people should be preaching unity, cooperation. Yes. And we hope that this message will also go get across to those people who have chosen the holy month to be kidnapping people, to be killing people. It used to be the case in this same country that we used to say during the holy month, you know, we, we get some respite yeah. from criminality, but it is very strange. It is a measure of the extent of the deprivation, the degradation, how worse our condition has become, that people no longer respect the holy month. They use the holy month to play politics and to commit crime. It's very unfortunate. Oji, I have a conversation to make. Since Ramadan, I've been breaking fast with all my Muslim friends. There's no evening. In fact, this evening, I have somewhere to go. Okay. Yeah, yes. You have been breaking fast. Uh, Ojinika has been cooking for some Muslims. Yes, because you will have to tell me those people you are cooking for. Because, because, today because, because in the end, I want to know who's going to go and cook. In the end, we are all together. Yes, we are. So, and I, before, before Ramadan, we will to have a lot of people and we'll break fast together and Absolutely. I will pay for their meals. Well, all right. You see, because the things that unite us are deeper than what divides us and that's why all sorts of very funny ill thought out comments that is about politics never about politics all right is that child not a human being what's the big deal in a politician eating with the child and being there for them you see, that's why social media is running a lot of people mad and they're having midlife crisis. All right, we're Because fine. people are posting all sort of stupid talk, thought and ideology. Let's end what's trending. What's that? Now, what do you guys think? You heard what Ruben Abate said. And so, as a concerned Nigeria, do you think this is a raffle step for Peter Obi to do? And why is he doing none of this? Is he trying to do this to get votes ahead of 2027? Is this all about politics? Is this his religion? What do you guys think? You know, we are Nigerian, so I'm bringing this particular video for you guys so that we dialogue it. I'm not just here to conclude. Remember, I'm obedient at the same time. I still support Peter Obi, but this particular one that he just did is beyond my own comprehensive or comprehension. <laughs> oh god i don't need that fresh so what do you guys think i want you guys to come and let's talk about it remember it is not just holding him we also saw a video of his vice dirty amen when he also bowed for uh bola metinibu he went to bola metinibu during the muslim stuff and all of that and decided to say oh you know stuff like that a lot of people were also dragging him what are you doing with president Tinibu? Ah, uh, president, I said, is his president. In as much that they are both rivalry and the so opposition, but no matter what, the hatred or whatsoever political differences is his president. But Nigerians still have their own way to talk. But come to think of it, uh, we know is his president. But why all of this Peter Obi stuff? I don't really understand. Remember that ever since Peter B lost election. We have never, even in a slight seconds, saw him walking past the front of church. We have never seen any video of him even at least slicing passing the pastor. <laughs> all these politicians and they are all best of safe feather. For me, I'm still obedient, but I don't understand this politician. Now Peter Obi is automatically not just disappear. Boom! Now Peter Obi. Obi. Oh, be importer, exporter. Ah, ah, oh, be. 
Obi. Import and export. <laughs> I don't really know. What do you think about Peter Obi and uh, Dati Amen and all of that? So I want you guys to tell me in the comment section, what is your thought about this? Do you just think it's normal so he can do whatever? If it is normal, why? Is, do you think it's normal? If it is not normal, why do you think it's not normal? What is your thought? Do you think this is a smart move for him to get uh, those Muslim votes? Or do you just think, hey, this thing you are doing is part of the things that will also make way the Christian to turn against him when 2027 election or campaign comes? What is your thought? I want to hear from you in the comment section. Remember we love you, but God love is the highest and God love you more. If you love us, the only way you can show it to us, please, subscribe turn on your notification bell click like on this video share amongst your loved ones or to all your social media platform comment your thoughts in the comment section above all like i always say please subscribe take us to 100 000. we want to hold that youtube award this year ah for the past three years now i've been on this subscriber this year i go beg 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 they will become a beggar I'll beg, 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 or to not take me to that 100,000. I want to hold that YouTube award. Please, guys, make it happen. If you love our video, just it takes you nothing to hit that subscribe button. All right, until we meet again, stay tuned, Plumbit TV. Peace out.